on this very good day i came to the subway room i just walked in hey i nearly fell like i just staggered and tried to fall back and i hold myself then someone i think there, there was this guy behind me he just said fuzzish which means careful hey i didn't even look back i was so ashamed of myself I now slowly had to put my hand on the rail for the support. Since that day, I always hold my hand on the rail for support. Like, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl hat again, Peppy. To all my returning subscribers, thank you guys so so much. I dub for you guys, and if you're a new subscriber. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Welcome to the family. And if you're just coming across this video, please click on that subscribe button. Turn on your bell notification so you can get new videos whenever I upload them. So guys, after this video, I'm going to tell you guys my top most embarrassing moment in this journey. <laughs> Most people, before they travel to Germany, all, especially the women, I think when you get married in Nigeria, before you come to Germany, you have to attend this um, German school where you go for the basic studies, like the a Then, so you can know some basic things about the language, like how to hold a little conversation, more good morning, or how are you? Just the little, little things. So, I got married in Nigeria, right? But I didn't go for this school because I had kids. And since my kids were already German kids, so I was issued the visa immediately. So, I had no knowledge of the language. First stop embarrassment was in the supermarket. I, okay, my first time in the supermarket, as they were calculating my my goods the things i brought there is something this lady said she, she said brakuzi i need to take that too i said yeah you know yeah it's positive so whatever it is, is yeah so i paid this happened the first the second the third then on the front time i was like let me just say no to see what will happen like because i don't know what i don't know the meaning of this thing she always say so on that day she asked me Brakuzi and it said I said nine which is no and then she was like she just packed my things and gave me the receipt so I was waiting for a paperback there was no paperback I was like Chimo it means if I need a paper bag so I stood there for some time like bringing my things to myself inside me I was think I was like was the next thing to do? What do I do now? Do I ask her for a paper bag? Hi, God, not for couple. So <laughs> I had to because I bought a lot of things. I, there's no way I could have carried them like that. So I was like, excuse me. And I can't say this in Deutsch. So I have to say it in English. Probably she might understand. So I was like, excuse me. Please, I need a paper bag. I did it like this. So if she doesn't understand English, at least she could read the signs or she could see my the signs. I said, I need a paper bag, please. And she was like, okay. She gave me the paper bag and said, as cost that tie iron. Hey? Eh? I was like, oh, before she gave me, she asked, is it big or small? If I need grocery or the cleaning city. I said, I need the big one. I seen me boom boom. I need a big paper bag because I thought it's free. She gave me the paper bag and said it's costed two euros. It cost two euros. I was like, oh no. So I've been buying, like I've been paying for these paper bags. And we had we had a lot of paper bags at home. <sighs> oh god. So I paid and packed my things. I suspected the girl, I think the girl knew already I was <laughs> I was new. So after packing my things, I couldn't even look back. Another embarrassment was when I started my Deutsch course, the Aunt. In my class, like I think it was only one girl from India that speaks English. And after some weeks, I had that clique of friends during break period. We go out 
to eat together, drink coffee, eat bread and everything. So on this day, <laughs> one day, as we were heading out of the class during the break period, my teacher called my name like Perpetua. Can't to be the two two mark. Hmm? Like, hey, what did she say? Oh. I came back. To, I as in, like I turned and went back to her. She said, "Mark the mark the two." I said, "Okay." I went forward again. Like we continued walking. Hey, immediately she i think she got frustrated she just got up and closed the door <laughs> i was like Chivo. she made that she closed the door behind us because we were heading out hey i was so ashamed of myself come on close the door i did not understand hey i was embarrassed it's also this thing people do like when when a train is coming and probably you're just coming down from the escalator and you, 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 maybe the train was about leaving. People just, some people, they will just run. Ba, 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 they will just, they will just slide in inside the train, like, pew, then the door closes. I always see this and I liked it. <laughs> but like the way they just, pew, then one day I decided to try. I was coming down from the escalator. Immediately, the train came and I couldn't meet up. I just ran. Uh, for me to slide in <laughs> like the way people do it, I got stuck in between the doors. Hey! Half of me was inside the train. The other one was outside. And the driver was busy inside saying, be there to reply. Like, everybody should go back. So, some people... <laughs> Now I had the door and they let me in. That day I was like, who even sent me to do this? Who? Who sent me? Who sent me to do this? Like throughout the ride, I I I, I had my head bended. I was just looking at my, at my phone throughout because I knew some people laughed at me though because it was so 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 funny. There was this day I was going out alone. I was inside the train and whenever I'm going out, I normally write down where I'm supposed to stop on the paper and <laughs> so this day I was going to somewhere a bit far but it's just one train like one connection so I had to like count the stops in my heart so that day I forgot like or maybe I miscounted I think I miscounted it is around the seventh or sixth and so and and I miscounted like at a point I was like this is not where I'm going to I think I've gone far I don't know I think I've gone far and sometimes the drivers always cause it because when I was new because I can't speak the language when they say we're stopping a social and so place when they say it, I don't get it. And when I'm reading it, I'm reading some other thing. Like the accent is really, really different. So this day I was inside the train. I missed my stop. I had to ask someone like, uh, have we gotten to so and so place? The person was like, of course. The person said, we've gone past the place. I was like, hey. He just said, I should just change over opposite to me there's a train coming i should just join the train and get down at that particular stop i was going to i said okay so i changed over guys do you know where i stopped i went back to where i started my journey like i went back to my station that was where i stopped and i had to change over like i started all over at the end i missed my appointment i was like Hey, you like it. Johnny just come see me. Oh. <laughs> then the snow. When I came here recently, <laughs> I came in January, which was winter. But when I entered, like there was no snow. So one day I woke up one morning, opened the window, and there was some white things falling down from the sky. The snow. I hurriedly picked my jacket and went downstairs with my phone. I had to walk a little bit far from our street because I don't want anyone to see me making pictures. 
<laughs> so I walked a little bit far from our street and had my covered my hair with the with with the cap from my from my jacket. So I when I covered my head, I let the snow fall on me a little bit before taking the pictures because I don't want stories. I don't want anyone to say no, it's not real uh, snow. I want them to see it. So when the snow now fell on my jacket more, and I posed for a picture, and that picture I didn't send it to anyone. I uploaded it straight to my WhatsApp status, and that picture stayed there for like six months because I want the the future WhatsApp friends, the past ones. And the one I have to see that picture, I know my friends didn't notice it. I'm going to insert that picture somewhere here, either here or here, so you guys can see my first picture. I still have it, like, I don't joke with this picture, but things like this, I don't do it anymore. That's it, guys, and I'm going to end this video here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, like, share, and please, subscribe, subscribe, okay? And I will see you guys in my next video. Peppy loves you all. Peace out.